Assemblies in Onshape allow you to bring in parts from part studios or even sub-assemblies created in other assemblies and assemble them together using mates to establish behaviors and motion in your designs. Here you can see this part studio I'm working with has a few parts shown here in the feature list. As you create features such as an extrude, the options of new and add allow you to decide whether the feature you're creating should result in its own part here in the part studio or if it should merge with an existing part. I'll select add to have this extrude feature merge with the simplified gear. The multi-part design philosophy in Onshape is powerful because it allows you to build in design intent and relationships with other parts, such as the up to surface end condition to the gasket part, as well as the sketch that's being used for this extrude being offset from the housing part. Of course, I don't have to worry about complicated external references since everything exists here in this part studio. As you create multiple parts in part studios, it's generally a good practice to rename parts here in the feature list, which will make things easier when you insert them into an assembly, as you'll see in a moment. If you take a look at the tabs I have in this document I'm working with, I have a handful of part studios and an assembly already created, which contains the parts from another part studio. I also have an empty assembly that I'll be working with, but keep in mind you can always create new part studios or assemblies by clicking the plus icon. Here in this empty assembly, the feature list contains sections for mate features and part instances, and the toolbar has icons to insert parts as well as adding mates, which we'll cover in another video. When I click the Insert Parts and Assemblies icon, a pop-up appears. This window allows you to search for items and, by default, shows a list of all the items in this document. The filters allow you to isolate part studios or assemblies. To insert something into the assembly, just click on it. Here I can insert an entire assembly into this assembly. And notice these other listings show both the name of the part as well as the name of the part studio where they were created. You can click the part name to insert just that part, or if you click the studio, all of the items in that studio will be inserted. Once I've made my selections, I can just click the green check to close the pop-up. The feature list shows all of the items I inserted, and notice the assembly I inserted can be expanded to see the parts that belong to it. At the moment, everything in this assembly studio is free to move. You can click and drag an item to move it, or click on it and use the triad. The triad has handles for translation, as well as rotation. Notice when I click on the subassembly here, all of the items move together. This is because this subassembly has some mates applied that were used for positioning each of its parts, which we'll cover in depth in another video.